Hey, good morning. It's very last day. It's very early. Um, what we got going on this morning? I woke up like twice last night with the craziest leg cramps. I have no idea what that is. I think it's. I think my body misses my bananas. <laughs> But yeah. All right, I'm gonna go find the scale. Cause I did, uh, I didn't, um, yeah, I still have the scale. So, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go get that. I already got my scale. I feel like after yesterday, probably not down any more weight. Sixty-eight point two. Man, I fluctuate on vacation. Let me tell you. <laughs> Weirdest thing ever. I'm just gonna see if it's different from at the spot where uh, where are we in. Nope. So that. Yeah, I didn't drink like any water. <sighs> Last night. So I think that could also be. That could also be uh, why I had leg cramps. Oh, so bad. Like, it was. Uh, inner thigh cramps, kind of thing. Man, it hurt. I. I um I uh, yeah. yeah I it just hurt it hurt quite a bit I I had to like stand up like try to stretch I was like ah. and then it like almost it makes me kind of like stand there like half bent knees I'm just like I don't know what to do but yeah all right. I'm going to brush my teeth and uh, get dressed, and we're going to go on the plane. Well, we're going to return the car, and then we're going to go on the plane. Maybe get a coffee along the way. Liz, so long, warm weather. I looked it up. It's three degrees. Why can't it be warmer in Canada? Three degrees? It's pretty warm. For it's pretty warm for right this time of year. We're leaving 30. It's very depressing. We have to go home someday, though.
All right. Lord just called me a couple times. That's why I have to start this again. So it's quite a shock when you uh, get outside and it's minus four or five. It's uh, it's intense. Going to see my car. Hopefully, somebody went to my car and thought it was theirs and brushed it off. You know, got all the ice off it, took good care of it, and then <laughs> I don't do that. All right. I, uh, <sighs> all right, another phone call. Yeah, I'm a very popular guy. Um, car doesn't even look like it has snow on it. I don't really see it though. I think I see it. Man, it's chilly. All right, this is the end of the day. I just did a video, recorded the whole thing, said all the same stuff. This is, I feel weird when I do this. It feels like inauthentic. I said it the first time, kind of like on a whim. This time I'm kind of saying it like, trying to remember what I said last time. Cause I was like, ooh, that was good. <laughs> but it just, it didn't record. Recorded, but didn't record. I don't know, it's weird. Something's wrong with my phone. I just recorded on my phone and it's a, uh, it's like a newer phone so it should be really clear and stuff but I recorded on my phone and I go to look at my photos to see where it is and I have like a photo of the crocodile that I saw. I don't know, something weird's going on. Anyway, phone's glitching. That being said, bad news or good news? The bad news I don't think is that bad. Rumor is sick. So, whenever Laura and I leave Rumor alone, it's only been twice. Once, no, well, a couple times for surgeries. Cause she's had a couple of those. She had a bunch of teeth removed. She had an eye removed. Then she went back and had another eye removed. Um, then what else did she have? I think that's it. She had teeth twice, but one of the teeth was while well, she was being neutered. The other teeth was when she was getting her first eye removed. So yeah. Uh, so, anytime she's away from us, she doesn't eat or drink. So we thought leaving her home with one of the people she loves the most that wasn't with, us, you know, like she loves Laura and I and Laura's mom and Laura's sister and stuff. She loves Amanda. Um, so I figured that having Amanda and familiar hosts and all that good stuff, she would, she would uh, be fine. And we don't give her soft food very often. We don't give her anything that's not dog food very often. And um, for the first few days to help her make sure she was eating, we told Amanda to mix in a little bit of uh, soft food. So she was, pardon my French, diarrhea-ing non-stop <laughs> and she um then we told the man of well, we're gonna have to take the soft food out and then we, she goes back to being a stubborn asshole and not eating at all so then she starts to throw up because she's not eating anything and craziness so poor amanda had to deal with what she thought was a dying dog for a couple days we're very sorry amanda <laughs> But as soon as we came home, she starts eating and running around. She's a stubborn asshole. There's no other way to put it. She's, I actually think she, she will die if we just leave. If we left her with someone, she would just, uh, I just don't think she would eat. I don't even understand that dogs do that. It's crazy. I mean, maybe it's separation anxiety or something. I don't know, but she'll eat it if it's like soft food or something, but then she gets sick. And then if you try to keep her on her regular diet, which has been her regular diet for the last 10 years, she won't eat it. Cause she's like, well, no, cause her friends aren't here. So I don't know. Um, but on a light note, on a, I mean, and just so everybody knows too, rumors fine. Laura's giving her a bath right now down in the basement, giving her a little haircut. Um, you know, she's still a little shaky. She's still a little needy. She's definitely trying to jump on some laps. 
Um, but she is, uh, she's eating and I, I, I think she'll be fine. I mean, fingers crossed. I would hate something to happen to her, but I think she'll be fine. Um, that being said, the good news is I'm very good at transitions. No, the good news is I got my super cool keychain when I came home. Feast, fast, repeat. Feast, fast, repeat. Coolest keychain ever. Coolest thing I've ever done. Um, oh mad Caroline. One meal a day Caroline. She, uh, she's one of my, she follows me. I follow her, but I, I watch her videos and stuff. She, very cool videos. She does uh, one meal a day, intermittent fasting. But uh, yeah, she did a little competition. See how long you go. 32 hours is what I did. Boom. 32 hours with no food going in this hole. Coolest thing I ever did because now I got a cool keychain. That was super cool of her. Someday when I'm really cool like she is, then I'll, I'll do cool stuff like that. Until then, you guys just have to watch me talk into my camera as I move it around slightly. <laughs> um, yeah, that being said, I'm going to take a shower and go to bed, but I don't feel like vacation went that bad for eating. Like wasn't the best meals as you guys saw and it wasn't the worst meals it was kind of half and half i mean i did try to make a smoothie one day and things like that like it's just it's really it's really cool um yeah so i thought that was really cool that i ended up my weight started fluctuating a little bit once i got used to it and jumped up there at the end of this video start of this video we'll blame it on the fact that the scale was packed that's what we'll say. Um, but yeah, so I will uh, make a video tomorrow. We'll see. I'll weigh myself on my scale. I kind of want to go weigh myself on my scale right now. But that's kind of the area that Laura shaves our dog in. So I'm going to let Laura to continue to shave our dog. Then I'm going to go weigh myself. All right, see you guys later.